Timmy and today I'm going to show you how to green screen without a green screen. Check it out. Hello guys, Tom with Timmy and the clip you just saw was me green screening myself without a green screen in After Effects. No, I do not currently own a green screen and the way I achieved this effect was with rotor brushing. Rotor brushing is a technique to just like create a specific target and key out any other part in that footage. So basically all I had was really uh, my footage and uh, you know a picture of bacon I got from Google Images. Yep, everyone likes bacon. Alright, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a new composition and rotor brushing is no way a substitute for a real green screen. It's perfect for those who are don't currently own a green screen and maybe they just need a short clip maybe five seconds seven seconds I did do a 30 second one but it came out disastrous and really it came out disastrous because it's really really not that predictable as you could see sometimes my hair would be there and sometimes my hair won't be there for example this is really water brushing um, you can see the mat and all however you can see that sometimes my ear will be there Sometimes my ear won't be there. So that, as you can see right over here, my ear gets cut off. So why is that? It's That's because green screening is, this type of green screening is not really green screen. Rotor brushing is not a very, like, substitute for green screen. However, it is really handy if you just need those short clips and you need a green screen. Now let's try to show you how to achieve rotor brushing. Now it took me around 10 minutes to rotate, actually not 10 minutes, 5 minutes. I had a lot of mishaps. Five, three to five minutes to to green screen this clip, and that's because um, when you're rotor brushing, let me just create a new composition right here. Um, oh, I already have. Huh. When you're rotor brushing, so first of all, just to let you know, you need to double type your footage, then you can start rotor brushing, so that it brings up your footage and then comes out with the layer. So you're gonna click this little icon and it brings up the rotor brush tool. Now there are only two types in the rotor brush tool. One is the green, which is basically, you know, the symbol for a type of green screening. And one is the red to key out footage that, you know, something might get important. For example, um, let's just do my body first. So we got my body um, right over there. Now you can see that a little part of my of the air was cut and a little part of outside my hands was cut. Now what you'll do is you'll press Alt or Option depending on your Mac or Windows. I'll just click that and you hold and turn red. Now what you can do is you can start highlighting the points that it was coming in. Now this is really perfect. Oh sorry. And you can always just look for you don't need to really be very exact. It really is good in you know where it should be keying out. But the problem is when green screening. Ah, you see what happens here. Actually this was a cut footage I had many takes on the shot I'll just key it out just to shorten the clip so I can show you a decent tutorial so I just have I, about a second of, of what I want to green screen so for example I green screen this part alright I'm just gonna key out that part first put in my ear now what happens is after a while what will happen is that somehow, like after a while, you see that what happened? It green screen the whole footage. Now I don't know if it's just on my computer, but I think it's on everyone's because you can't expect it to just keep on rotor brushing. It ha it does need a specific target, and it'll take some time. However, it is pretty good. You can see it's pretty accurate. It doesn't look so nice on black. However, if you posing put on matte, it looks quite you know like a green screen, and it's really accurate. This is on keying out, and this is on red. However, you see in the next um, frame, it keys out the whole part, like here. So what you need to do is just rotor brush it again. So this is how you basically rotor brush. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not going to make it anywhere, you know, like decent, because I want to make it fast. Uh, here, here. I think I'll just do that a little bit. And we're basically done. I'm going to shorten the line of my clip. 
and how much is the clip only one minute I think I'll just put one second now, after you're done with that you put your composition and over here wait sorry uh, this is not should be keyed out so you'll just key it out I'm not gonna do it very perfectly just make sure that it recognizes most of it that's pretty good enough for me so now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your other part of your project workspace yeah I use the help tool a lot and I'm gonna put my bacon picture and there it is so I've just green screened out and once you render it out there you have it this was green screening without a green screen it is not a substitute for the real actual green screen however it is a decent alternative guys this was Tom with Tim signing out Peace.